morning, good morning, good morning. I am back again, y'all. It is LPB Precious. I am Linda. I am back at it again. Trying to start off this new year on the right foot. I have went to the gym for the first day, um, of, not the first day of the year, for the first time this year. <laughs> but this today is the... Was the 16th or the 17th one? I didn't go the first of the. I didn't go the first, but I'm going the first month. I didn't go the first day, but I am on the first month. So now I am incorporating exercises into my daily or at least weekly plan. I'm trying to exercise these bones. Boy, I was working. Uh, what Monday night I worked, and the girl needed me to help her with the patient. And let me tell you, honey, that he was so stiff, I couldn't hardly help pull him, pull him over. That's how weak I've gotten from just sitting around the house over the years. But it is time for me to get up out of my do-nothings and start to do something. This year, 2024, I'm claiming it. It's going to be my year of moving. I'm going to move, and God's going to be moving with me. There you go. I said it on you YouTube. And I don't know if I said what I said when I first opened up this thing. But hello, 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 Larry. YouTube. My friends, my family. I'm I'm expecting growth to God this year on YouTube. I'm expecting uh, putting out some things on YouTube that's going to grow my channel. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to do something. <laughs> I know I always say that, say that, and I've been saying that. But it's gonna come. It's gonna shock me. It's gonna shock y'all too. But it's coming. Whatever it is, it's coming on YouTube. That I can start growing my child. I can start bringing in some coins from YouTube. That's my plan. So I worked out at the gym today for two hours. I doing different things. I did started off with. Um, the paddle in place, the bicycle paddle in place, just the lower body, my legs. Uh, I stayed on there for 15 minutes. And then I went, well, actually, this was at Planet Fitness. I did the 30 minute, I mean, 15 minutes on the paddle and the bicycle. I don't know what these machines call, but I was paddling for 15 minutes. And then after I paddled for 15 minutes, I went to the 30 minute um, full workout. It was a, it's a 30 minute workout where you get on this machine. For, third, for um, I don't know, one minute, I think. You know how many minutes it is? You stay on the machine until the light turn red. When the light turn red, you get off and go on another machine. But I do my machine for the one minute, I'll say. And then when the one minute is up, I go and do my exercise that my therapist showed me how to do. And then when the light turn green again, I go back and get back on the, another machine. And then I work out my upper body, lower body, whatever the machine do. And then I did it all the way around. It's, a, it's, it's about... Mm, I want to say 10 machines, maybe 10 machines that I go around to. Might be 10. I'm not sure how many, but I think it's at least about 10. So, and after I did that, then I went back and got on the treadmill. But I got on the treadmill at a slow pace because of my knee injury. I got on the treadmill doing a slow pace. And I did that for, uh, for 15 minutes, but I did it like on like maybe uh, I think two or three incline with an incline up so I did that for um, 15 minutes then after I did that then I went back and did some more machines for my mostly my tricep biceps whatever I did that and then after that I went on the massage machine the water massage machine for t 10 minutes for 20 minutes she let me do it 10 minutes at a time I could have did more as long as nobody else was waiting for the machine so I did 20 minutes on the mas massage machine, the water therapy machine. So that was good. So that's how my workout went. And I did it for two hours. I left the house this morning. Um, what about, mm, I want to say about probably quarter to nine. Because I remember looking at my clock like, girl, I got ready to get out of the truck. Go into the gym. It was like maybe two, three minutes after nine. Yeah. And it was a good workout. Now, after that, I had to go to Walmart, which I did not video in Walmart. I should have. I was just in Walmart walking around, looking, 
trying to see what they had if they had any sales or anything they had some sales but nah I ain't doing all that sales stuff and not unless I need stuff because I either end up no it be like 50 cent sale on a dollar under under fit under I'll say if it's under under uh 75 cent I'll get it but uh most time I buy the stuff I just end up giving it away because it's so cheap but I don't need it so I don't need to keep buying them a few 75 cents or 50 cent quarter whatever dollar can be going in my um piggy bank or whatever stuff in the kids piggy bank one of the grandkids piggy bank but anyway that was my morning my little morning um therapy i'll call it yep and now i'm headed back to the house i'm gonna go back to the house and make me some little chicken tacos i got these street taco wraps the little miniature size I, sizes I got those because the carbohydrates um I think the yeah, carbohydrates was 20 on those but I can have at least three of them and you not y'all know what I do not know tomatoes had carbohydrates in them what in the world tomato and a cabbage got carbohydrates come on now I love uh, carb I love um cabbage and I like tomatoes and they got carbohydrates. I'm trying to fix the, you know, fix my meals and without a lot of carbs in it. So I guess um, your non-carbohydrated vegetables are the green leafy vegetables, cucumbers, stuff like that. Because if you got fruit, that got sugar in it, so that's gonna, that's a carbohydrate. So um, hey, most everything got carbohydrates in it. So what I'm probably have to, what I'm gonna probably have to do is start planning my meals, start writing down and going over what I'm gonna eat. I go to the doctor on Friday, and I'm probably gonna get my blood work done again. So I want to find out what my A1C is this time. I hope it's dropped out back down under six, because it was 6.1 um, on my last appointment, which was about six months ago, maybe about six months ago, and. Since I've been counting my carbohydrates, I want to see what it is now. I have been eating, especially the holidays. Holidays, I just ate what I wanted for the most part. But after that, I start back counting my carbohydrates again. Not doing as good as I was when I first started counting them, but I'm getting back to it. I'm getting back on track. I'm going to continue to exercise and see how my carbohydrate. I mean, see how my A1C do. See if it go back down under a uh, 6.1. I don't even know that six is more than like 6.1. They say you're pre-diabetic. Most of the time, I think I was right at six. Because I remember in the past looking at my A1C and I said, oh, my A1C is six. So I thought six was good. But now they're changing stuff. Now I'm 6.1. So that makes me pre-diabetic. But if she tell me I need diabetic medication I'm not gonna take it I'm gonna tell her no I'm not gonna take that I'm gonna do my diet my exercise and I'm gonna continue to count my carbohydrates that's what I'm gonna do to keep my blood sugar on track I had to cut out sweets I had to do the best I can cut down on my sweets so make my my um, desserts with not a lot of sugar find another way to make my desserts instead of with a lot of sugar So anyhow, I just want to hop on here and update you guys on what's going on with me. My, I don't make no uh, New Year's resolutions. Uh -uh. I don't even know what. Mm -mm. I always say back in the past, you say stuff, you say stuff, you gonna do this, you do that, and don't do nothing. I'm just going to take my day one day at a time for improving my life. That's what I'm going to do. One day at a time for improvement on myself, my mental self, my physical self. That's what I'm going to do day by day. And I'll be um, including you guys into some of what I do. I'm trying to pick this camera up a little bit more and put more videos on um, YouTube. They might not be long videos, but I'm going to try to do that. Put um, more videos on YouTube. And I have, all, I have started, for the most part, I don't drink a lot of sodas. 
I drink water. I found this cup here at, uh, I think Marshall's, uh, way before, I want to say before Christmas, November, somewhere like that. And this cup was cheap. Like it was on clearance for like, mm, I want to say, I want, I know it was under $15. It might've been under, I know it might've been about $11 some change. I know it was real cheap. Cause I looked at it, I said, Oh, I'm getting this cup. This cup is cheap. Cause usually these cups are $16 at Ross or Marshall's or Home Goods, whichever one. But anyway, I'm gonna have to take my little doggy out too on a walk. She got need to get out of the house and go for walks and stuff. So I'm gonna have to start getting her out. But today is like, uh, it's 33 degrees right now. Um, this morning was 17 degrees. Surprised I even got out of the house being that cold. But I did, and I have enjoyed my workout. Everything's been fine. I'll take Coco out maybe when it get back up into the 40s so she won't be so cold. Or I might buy her some little booties to go on her little paws so she won't be cold, cold walking on the cement. But anyway, y'all, I'm getting ready to get out of the truck. I just bagged in the garage. Get out of the truck and get my stuff out of the out of the truck. I'm going to do some chicken wraps. So I'll probably come back when the chicken wraps, when I get ready to do the chicken wraps. Okay, I'll see y'all then. Okay, you guys, I am back. Just forgetting to turn this. Just remember to turn this camera on, but I'm back now. I'm going to show you what the meat, the meat I was talking about. It actually come in one of these bags here. And my mom, I think she got it from the, um, from the, uh, the pantry, the food pantry, where they pass out foods, boxes of foods and stuff. She got this from the food pantry. So I got this to try, see how I would like it. This is what the meat looked like. It's chicken. I'm gonna make some street tahita, street tahita, street, whatever, street tacos. And then this pot over here, I got pig feet, which I guess I can show y'all. It start, didn't start to build up pressure yet. Got pig feet in there. What I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna warm up this meat. Warm this meat up. And make me um, some little tacos. Using these little miniature tacos. I was looking at, these are the ones I was talking about, the carbohydrates or 20, um, 20 carbohydrates and 20 milligrams of sodium. 20, 20 grams of carbohydrates, but it's for three, have 20 grams. So I'm gonna eat three of these, and then the sodium level is only 20 milligrams, so that's not bad at all. Warm this up. Start to put some olive oil on here, but it has some kind of sauce and seasoning already on it, so before I put anything in this, I'm just gonna warm it up and see what it's like first. Let's warm it up and then see what it is like. This is what I bought out of Walmart. I didn't buy much. My daughter wanted this, so she asked me to pick up this for her. So I got two cans of this salmon, salmon, whatever you, how you pronounce it, fish. And I needed some oatmeal, so I got this, which was on clearance, well, sale, 50 cent off. That wasn't no sale, but anyway, I needed some. And I also picked up these noodles, which were out of those. My husband like to eat these, so I just picked up these, a small box for now. And that is it, and some cleaning supplies, some cleaning supplies. I already put that up. Oh, I already got over some of these first before I open these. some snacks last week so I'm going to take these out and get ready to fix them, fix them some snack bags. Today is already Wednesday so maybe I should wait till next week. Anyway, I'm going to put those up for the kids. Whoever want them actually. Because everybody ended up eating. Make that warm up a little bit more. 
before I taste it. Make them some snack bags. Oh, these are just like I want them, an individual. So one person will have to get two. I like the way these are. This is the kind of snacks I was looking for. And these are honey bars. These are moon pies. Yep, that's what I was looking for, the small stuff. So I'm going to put a few of these out and a few of the um, moon pies for the kids and make them some more chips, I guess. Okay, I'm going to turn you guys off until I uh, finish doing this. I'll be back when I start doing something else. Okay, now guess what? I have forgot to record my tacos or street tacos or whatever they were called. They're going on my belly now, y'all. So I'll catch up with y'all with something else later. Okay, now you guys. I thought my skin was right there and I said, I don't know why it hurt. I'm making my coffee. I already got my almond cream in there. I'm gonna sprinkle some cinnamon in my coffee. And this is the coffee that I use. I drink decaffeinated and I drink, I like these little packets here, the decaffeinated kind. I need to drink more water. Anyhow, this is gonna be my coffee. I'm gonna stir this up. I need to go get my jacket because I'm cold. I'm back upstairs and get my jacket. I put on my long sleeves for shirt. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Then I'm gonna go over here and listen to Megan off of IAG Farms. Watch her um, grocery haul and her strategy she used to um, stick to her budget. Stir this up. Then my little fancy do that silver spoon I got from Ross Home Goods or wherever I got it from. Alright you guys, uh, I'm going to end this video. I think I've done enough, enough on this one. So I'm going to end this video and I will be back another day with something else. Who knows what it would be. See you then. All right, y'all, these pig feet are done. I need to just take the water off of them. Pull some of this uh, grease off of them. And... See, they're good. They're tender. That's very tender there. Y'all, they fall off the bone tender. Let me pick that one up. Ooh. See the tender? See the green peppers and onions I put in there with the seasoning? So they are pretty good. They are good, good, good. I tasted them. They taste delicious. And Mimi got these biscuits over here she cooked. And the mackerel cakes that she cooked. All right. That's it. I just want to come back and show you guys these um, pig feet. All done.